Hi everyone, welcome to another Literacy Friday session. Today we begin our series on summarizing and summary writing. This is just part one of our series and I can tell you from now that these sessions will be particularly beneficial to students sitting CSEC English A exam or CTN Gills English Skills exams. If you're a regular visitor to this channel, you may have already learned about our literacy skills. Summarizing may be considered as a sub-skill of three of our literacy skills, namely listening, speaking, and writing. So it's very essential to learn how to summarize. Now let's look at what we mean when we say summarize. To summarize is to express in a brief, clear manner the most important facts or main ideas of something that is stated. And what is stated could be given either orally, meaning spoken, or written via text. So there are three core things to summarizing. Stating something clearly, being as short as possible or concise as possible in saying what you're saying and stating only the important facts or main ideas so please note we're looking at the most important facts and most important means that whatever was stated cannot do without this and it is highly essential into understanding or expressing an understanding of what was stated for academic purposes, most times we are required to summarize expository content, meaning information that's just a presentation of facts, usually non-fiction, as I'm saying. That does not mean that the content we're asked to summarize does not contain opinions. However, when summarizing, we must always focus on facts, identifying facts. And facts are things that can be proven to be true and they don't have to be given as someone's personal belief. A personal belief would be an opinion. Let's see if we can identify what's an opinion from this text. Here is a paragraph. The paragraph says, There are many types of cats. Some are wild cats. Wild cats like lions, cheetahs, and jaguars live in wide open spaces like forests and they have to care for themselves to survive. Domestic cats live with humans. They make great pets. Now we read the text and identify the opinion that's within it. If you guess that the last sentence was an opinion, you are correct. Now let's assess this statement to identify why it's an opinion. Okay, what's true is that domestic cats have been used as pets. Whether they are great pets or not, that's debatable. So the word great therefore makes this statement an opinionated one. Therefore, in summarizing this paragraph, we should omit the word great in describing domestic cats as pets. Here's another. Oranges are citrus fruits which are sweet and juicy. Oranges are a good source of vitamin C and fiber. They are also high in potassium, which is a mineral that regulates heartbeat and muscle function. Oranges contain many nutrients. Can you identify the opinion in this text? The opinion in this text comes through the word sweet, yes. Our taste buds differ. Additionally, not all oranges are sweet. If the text had said are sometimes sweet, that would have been a fact, but it just states that they are sweet. So in summarizing this paragraph, we would not mention the descriptor of oranges being sweet. So we identify the most important facts when summarizing or the main ideas. And in our next video, we will explore how to identify main ideas. See you soon.